The theory of evolution is full of hoaxes about the human race. In this presentation, I would like to give you scientific information about the human races and show that they present no evidence for evolution. Instead, the human races clearly show us that man is created by Allah with all of their perfect qualifications. The Neanderthals suddenly emerged in Europe around 100,000 years ago and became extinct or else became completely assimilated by other races some 35,000 years ago. The only differences between them and the present humans are their rather more powerful skeletons and their slightly larger average skull sizes. Scientific findings show that the Neanderthals were a human race, no different in terms of intelligence and cultural levels from ourselves. Cro-Magnon man, on the other hand, is of a race estimated to have lived until 30,000 years ago. It had a dome-shaped skull and a broad forehead. Its 16,000 cubic centimeter skull volume is again slightly greater than that of present-day humans. Cro-Magnon had thick protrusions over its eyebrows and a bony protrusion on the back of the head that is a characteristic of Neanderthal man. The visible differences between the Neanderthals and Cro-Magnons can also be seen among present-day human races. In the same way that the structural differences between an Anglo-Saxon and an Eskimo or an African and a European do not suggest that one race is more developed or backward than another. So, physical differences between races that existed in the past do not imply that one was more backward or ape-like than any other. These races disappeared from the earth by becoming assimilated with other races or by becoming extinct in some other way. But they were still fully fledged human beings, not at all primitive or ape-like. The structural differences in fossil skulls are no evidence of evolution. These skulls belong either to extinct species of apes or else to various human races that once existed. It is entirely logical that skulls belonging to different human races should display structural differences. In short, the fact that some past human races had anatomical structures different from human beings alive today in no way constitutes evidence in favor of evolution. Anatomical distinctions can be seen in all periods of recorded history and among all different human races.